Hey everybody, it's Merkel, and today I'm going to show you how to get a really cool pet. It's a new pet that just came out. It's called Sun Darter Hatchling. Awesome colors, as you see, but it has a really, really wacky way to get it. So, um, first off, you're going to need to collect a few things. Don't bother until you've got all of these things. Um, you need one of each major protection potion from uh, Burning Crusade. These patterns are kind of hard to come by, especially finding people with them. So you might be able to purchase these things on the auction house, but they're going to be really rare and really expensive. So um, you can try and get them those that way. You need a dire brew, which I'm going to show you a video right here. Now for the dark iron brew thing, you need to come to the Grim Guzzler and specifically speak to this NPC, dark That's iron brewer, and just keep clicking through all of the chat over and over and over again and both of you will get very drunk he'll pass out and he'll drop the item which you can loot you need 10 pygmy oils an alchemy thing again pretty easy to come by a winterfall fire water which you can collect from the guys right here there's like a high chief one he has pretty much a hundred percent rate to drop it gordok ogre suit it's from north dire mall uh, there's a goblin halfway through that'll give it to you pretty simple to get Ether Oil, another alchemy thing. Scroll of Intellect, inscription thing, really easy to get. Little Princess Costume, which is a uh, item you can purchase for a pet token from the Dalaran Fellow. You also need the Perky Pug, otherwise you won't be able to do this step. Noggin Fogger Elixir, uh, I recommend getting a whole bunch of these. And then finally, Scotty's Lucky Coin, I'll show you a video again. This one's going to be really hard to come by, and it's from the Elite that spawns right here, and you got to go inside of here. But there will be a lot of people camping, and it is not a multi-tap kind of thing. It is only one person can get it, so uh, just a heads up on that. Once you've collected all the weird items required, you can come to the location right here, way above Winter Spring. You aren't actually in Winter Spring anymore, it won't show you on the map, so you're going to be way up here on the coast, and then you can enter the Caverns and Consumption and start following the steps. The first step is you're going to drink the Fire Protection to get past this first barrier, and then to get back past the second barrier, you're going to need to drink one of each of the other ones, so it'll take you a minute to get past this step. Okay, upon getting the final buff, you can now pass the portal, and you're going to drink your Nogginfogger Elixir until you get the buff to be a skeleton. Once you get the buff to be a skeleton, you can walk right past this diligent watcher. And there's going to be two paths, but you're going to take the one to the right because you need to go to these vine bushes. Use your Scotty's Lucky Coin to get past these bushes. And in the water, you're going to see a tiny water stone. Go ahead and take it. Use the water stone, crush it, you're going to get the water buff. The water buff is going to allow you to pass this barrier. Now drink your dire brew upon passing this barrier to get by the stone watcher. Then you're going to come to a path that has a ramp. Go up the ramp. And on the right, there's going to be an ethereal looking portal. You're going to drink your ethereal oil, which allows you to pass through this. Use your Gordok Ogre Suit and a Winterfall Fire Water. And then use Place Arm in the Hole. You're going to get a buff. It says Sign of the Second. Head back and just across, you're going to see this gate looking thing. Drink your pygmy oil until you turn into a pygmy. Once you become a pygmy, you can pass through this gate. You're going to come to this wisdom cube. Now you need to summon your pug, so your perky pug. And then when he's summoned, use your little princess costume on him, and then you can place your arm beneath this cube head back here but you're gonna enter the ramp when you come back down it you're gonna enter this room and when you enter this room you have to read the plaque over here 
make sure to read this plaque. You read it and it says, the greatest of achievements begins with the smallest leap of mine. So remove your Winterfall fire water because if you look, I can't buff myself with the intellect until I remove the Winterfall fire water. I can then buff myself and you'll be able to walk on the water safely. Make sure to read the plaque first. If you do not, you will not be able to walk on this water. And then you open it, and there you go. Sun Darter Hatchling achieved. This pet is tradable, so you can put it in a cage. Imagine this bad boy is going for a lot of money because of the difficulty in obtaining it. But there you are. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Let's summon him and get a nice little zoom up of that boy. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.